Hey, all you cats and kittens from Northside. This is your friendly neighborhood music teacher, Mr. Scheller, and we're gonna do something different today. Today, I'm gonna go through the process of how to make a, an instrument with materials that you'll find at home. And the instrument we're gonna make today, we're gonna make a few of these in, uh, for the end of the year, and I'm gonna make two or three or four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10, um, but definitely today's our first one, and today what we're gonna make is a brass instrument. Now. Think about what a brass instrument is. We've talked about this. There's four families of instruments. This is one of those families. Now, a brass instrument does not have to be made out of metal. Remember what we've talked about. A brass instrument is, you need three things to make a brass instrument. You need a bell, you need a tubing, and you need a mouthpiece. Now, what do we always talk about in class? The thing that we do with uh, that mouthpiece is we, no, we don't blow, we, that's right, we buzz. Put your lips together. Let me teach you how to buzz real quick. You'll put your lips together and you're just going to make a inappropriate sound. Ah, I know you're giggling already. So try that again. Go. Your buzzing can go high, it can go low, it can get loud, it can get soft, but that's what you're doing. Now, what we're going to do today is we're going to make what's called a French horn. And the supplies that you'll need for that are things that you can find um, at, any, at any store or you can find a lot of these things around the house, especially after parties. Let me show you that. Now, the first thing uh, you could use is for the tubing. Let's go over the tubing first. Now, you can use any garden hose, all right? A lot of us have garden hose that we're getting out to power wash our driveway and our sheds and things and uh, a lot of times we'll find out well there was water it froze now your garden hose is junk use that junky garden hose um, and uh, what I and cut it up and what I've done is I've actually gone and I actually uh, because I wanted to make a really tight one um, I've got some a really cool uh, it's reinforced uh, tubing and I got this at Lowe's or uh, it, and you can use it for lots of different things but this is some reinforced tubing and what you do is you're going to cut it down to size now uh, you can cut it to any size that you want uh, I have found that 10 between six feet 10 foot is a good size this right here is I mean this this gives you an idea of what you can do with it, okay? So any type of garden hose. Now, after you got your garden hose, that's the tubing. Now, we need, also need a bell. Now, for a bell with this, what you're going to do is you're going to find a funnel. Now, if you don't know what a funnel is, a funnel can look like this. Now, you can use any type of a funnel that you want. There's actually all varieties of funnels. You got blue ones and you've got yellow ones and you've got red ones and you got gray ones. Big giant gray. You can also use it as a hat. <laughs> All right, now, what you'll do with this is you'll put this on the end of the thing. Now, you'll notice that sometimes funnels, um, they don't really fit. You don't want the funnel to fit over the tubing. You want the funnel to fit in the tubing. So I'll just go ahead and use this one. This will work, and it'll fit right inside, I think. There you go. Fits right in like so. All right, and so then, um, let's see if we can fit in this way. Here we're going to move the thing, I think. All right, now, fits in snug. Snug as a bug in a rug. Now, what's that last part we needed? bell tubing mouthpiece now here's the tough part now we could just buzz into this but that's kind of tough right and so what i suggest is you go and you get some party favors now i've tried lots of different party favors let me show you what i mean by party favors um there's different like little blowouts fancy blowouts um, but this is the one that I got. I got this from Walmart. It was like $2 and it's a big grab bag. Now I tried all different types, um, to be able to buzz, to make sounds. I tried, uh, this one right here. looks like a little recorder thing. I tried to fitting that into, and you just have to kind of find the one that fits. Um, but notice, well, that doesn't really work. It doesn't really fit. And it's not buzzing. It's just blowing right now. You can kind of fit it on the end here and buzz. Ah, kind of works. Not great. Um, I then found, let's see, I have a kazoo out of there. Let's, now, <laughs> kind of works, but again, am I buzzing? No, so it's not a brass instrument. The best one I found is this bad boy right here. Let me show it to you real quick. Look at that. Now, with this guy, you blow into it. Very annoying sound. But if you flip it over, makes a perfect mouthpiece. And again, that's just out of this little noisemaker kit right there. And uh, what you can do with this, slide it right inside there. Boom, baby. And then all of a sudden, you've got yourself a nice little brass instrument. Now remember, 
remember what we've talked about with tubing. The bigger it is, the lower it goes. The smaller it is, the higher it sounds. Things like that, right? So what I've done is I've cut it, and uh, you can cut things down. Um, you can use things like hacksaws, parents' permission. Do not get one of these things. Don't start cutting up stuff with scissors and all that stuff until you get your parent permission. Parents, be involved. Now, what I've done is I've cut one down to about six feet, and I've decorated it, and I've wrapped it. Notice that if I were to uncoil this, it would be about six feet long, and uh, I've decorated it with my favorite thing in the world. That's right, duct tape. That's right. And, uh, and then to make it secure, make sure that there's no air leakage coming out, um, I've used uh, some 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 flex glue stuff and that ensures number a couple things number one um that's waterproof glue so that uh the condensation things like that it's not going to create any leaks with the glue but also it's going to make sure it's snug as a bug in a rug now here we go this is how it is let's see how it sounds <laughs> And you can play a couple different songs. So let's go ahead and try this, Brad. Let's see if you can recognize this tune. Here we go. This is, a, this is how I wake my kids up in the morning. I'll, I'll get this here. And this is how I put them to bed at night. All right, so this right here is my version of a uh, uh, the garden hose funnel noisemaker brass instrument. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and uh, we'll see you soon. Bye, guys. Have a great day.